So since we've been talking about sunsets, what I want to know now, because you've been a DJ and you've toured all over the world internationally and also... Almost. <laughs> oh, well, you've been to a lot of places for <laughs> sure. Uh, what I want to know is, what are your favorite places that you have enjoyed a sunset in the world? Such a good question and something that... Uh, okay, so every answer I give you is not my final answer because these things change all the time. Um, I was very lucky to witness a sunset in Phuket in Thailand on the beach, which was wow. incredible. Um, I actually remember I was sleeping in the apartment and I would woke up um, because I think I was still, my jet lag was still hitting kind of hard. And I just opened my eyes and through the window, I could just see this red, this burning red sky. I was like, I have to go to the beach and watch this. So I just put my flip-flops on, ran down to the beach because we were right next to the beach and just, it was incredible. Just one of the best things ever. Um, my second favorite would have been, I want to say it was 2015 and I was DJing in Perth in Australia. It was New Year's Eve. And because Australia is on that side of the world, they're one of the first people to bring in the new year. So it was nice to be able to be somewhere where it would I would be one of the first people to bring in the new year. So it was my last sunset of 2015. Um, that was really nice to witness that on the beach as well. Um, and I'd say, lastly, um, what's another good sunset that I've had? Uh, oh, San Francisco. Uh, this was uh, last year uh, when I was DJing. I was staying with uh, one of my friends who moved out there. Same thing. We were watching TV. And he said to me, because have you looked out the window? I looked out the window and again, the most beautiful orange, pink, red sky. And I just nice. stood on the balcony watching. And it was really funny because we had um, a McDonald's and a Dunkin' Donuts there. So <laughs> you can just see McDonald's and Dunkin' Donuts and it's the most incredible sunset <laughs> that you've seen in your life, you know. So I was taking a picture trying to crop out the the stores, obviously. Um, oh, that's so funny. But those, for the moment, that that's what I can recall. Uh, these are my three uh, for sure. What a diverse set of answers. Thailand, yeah. Australia, and San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Very, yeah, that's that's super dope. I like uh, how diverse those were. I was, uh, this is kind of random, but <laughs> since we keep talking about the sun, I watched a clip on uh, YouTube a couple of days ago. It was like a National Geographic clip about like the solar system, something like okay. that. And when I heard this phrase, it just like kind of blew my mind. Like I realized I knew it before, but it just reminded me. And they basically said the sun is a life giving star. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, oh shit, I forgot, first of all, that the sun is a star. And then when they added that adjective that it's life giving, it was just mm -hmm. kind of like, huh, I'm <laughs> yeah. not going to ever think about the sun ever the same again. Like it's even more. Like, I feel going to be more special when I start looking at it, the sunrises and sunsets. It completely. And I think this is the way that, um, this is the way um, that I get people to, <laughs> this I, is the I, way. I, I get people to be interested in things like space. I mean, one of the, the facts that I always say to people that aren't necessarily into it is that there's a planet out there where it rains diamonds sideways. And people won't believe me. I'm like, no, no, seriously, there is. And there's, I think you and I had this discussion. There's um, a planet where their ozone layer is slightly different to ours. So their sun, only the red light can get through the ozone layer. So because of that, if they have any greenery on that planet, it's all going to be red. So their grass, their trees, their flowers, everything would all be red on there. And that to me is so amazing and such an incredible thing. To imagine there's places out there like that. And the fact that on Mars, we they, because of the atmosphere on Mars, the sun appears blue. So their sunrise is a blue sunrise. That's incredible. That's amazing. It's mind-blowing. Yeah, completely. 100%. You know, these are little facts that I just kind of, you know, I'm the annoying guy at a party. We'll just be like, oh, by the way, did you know this about space? You know, <laughs> but hopefully it will make people want to go and do some more research and, you know, open up um, their mind a bit more to these kind of things you know, it'd be the most epic thing. So that planet you're describing with the, the red light shining down on the surface. Yeah. You need to do a DJ set on that planet. And you, you know that um, there is a YouTube channel called, I think you're familiar with Circle or Circle. And they Ooh, combine sure. like epic, they, they basically combine DJ sets in the most epic outdoor uh, environments. 
like the Grand Canyon, like um, did they I think disclosure the, uh, in Paris, um, the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, I think they probably did it right. there. I, FKJ I did it at these Bolivian salt flats. Cascade oh, wow. did it at the Grand Canyon. Disclosure um, did it in some jungle forest. And I just oh, imagine wow. okay. you doing it on some like <laughs> desert alien planet. And yeah. they need to they need to have you. If you're this circle or search play, <laughs> like make this shit happen. That would be amazing. Is that, that that's one thing I'm very sad about that in my lifetime I won't see interstellar travel. You know, but then I guess that's with everything, though, isn't it? You know, we, we always want something we don't have, you know. So this is why with the show, hopefully, once I'm long gone, if the show is still there somehow, if anyone's listening to it, if anyone's listening to this podcast when I'm long gone, I really hope Interstellar Travel is a thing. <laughs> I really, really hope so. Even if it's just to the moon, I hope I hope it exists. Hopefully everything comes faster so you can experience something hopefully, like that i just know hopefully. you will go crazy <laughs> oh it would be the best thing in the world like i would love to be able to um yeah just see the earth you know from from space that would be such an incredible feeling uh when you were talking about uh you saw a sunset in san francisco mm -hmm. so last year you were on your u.s tour 2019 yes. right i want to know well, first of all, I was so sad that you never got around to Los Angeles. I know there was somewhere on your radar. You hit like yeah. a, you hit up Miami, you hit up San Francisco, uh, Vegas. Yeah, I saw that uh, you Atlanta, met you have a mutual friend Cricket. DC. Yeah, yes, Cricket and uh, Eric Alandia, both amazing people. Like so, so cool, and they both made me feel so at home. Um, amazing, incredible people. Uh, yeah, huge shout outs to Erica Landia. She's part of the Just Trek crew and Cricket. I've known her for a while too. I haven't seen her in a long time, but she also is a B girl, and that, that's how I met yes. her. I'm a B boy, she so we all still hang out every sick. weekend at one point. <laughs> yeah, she's so dope. Like I couldn't believe how sick she is with it. It's amazing. Yeah, you DJ at a. It was like her monthly party, right? The Cricket right. Playhouse. That's right. Yeah, it's such a good time. Um, it was funny. To, I think I mentioned this before. It was strange to me because I always just assumed Vegas was always really hot. It was so cold that evening. Like I felt like I was in the UK. And of course, it's a desert. Of course, it's going to be cold. <laughs> yeah. People keep forgetting that about deserts. It's it's extremely hot and it's yep. extremely cold. It's both extremes. So Yes, exactly. Yeah, but I had such a great time. So if, uh, if any of those people are listening, thank you for having me. And thank you for just being amazing human beings. Yeah, shout outs to Erica Landia and Cricket. Much love to them for sure. For sure. Um, so when you were on your US tour last year, were you able to take opportunities to explore outside in the places you traveled to? And if so, was there any specific places that you just really enjoyed and just uh, always remember? Um, I wish I could have, but unfortunately, most places I was there for one evening, if that. Mm. Um, so I'd get there... I'd have an afternoon to myself. And unfortunately, you can't really go too far, you know, in an afternoon because I have to come back, catch up on my sleep, go DJ, come back to the hotel and catch an early flight out to the next city. So I was in New York for quite a while and I love New York. To me, it feels like home now um, mm -hmm. just because it's so similar to London, but it's, it's its own thing, which I love. Um, so New York, I had a great time there. Um, in terms of places that I really enjoyed, strangely, North Carolina, um i got booked for two events there and i remember thinking wow people listen to me in north carolina this is really wow. strange and when i went there it was the people that booked me they were amazing shout out to half um to everyone else um there's so many people to mention but they were so welcoming but also it was to me it was a part of america that i hadn't really experienced before because everywhere i've gone even when i was younger there's always been a city which has kind of reminded me of London in a little bit of a way. Whereas North Carolina to me was that kind of slightly Southern, but not really, but like kind of, does that make sense? You know? Oh, absolutely. Like yeah. The you accents are kind of, yeah. yeah. And they kind of, the accents, some of them, they were a bit country as well, which is what I loved. Um, and it's something that I never would have experienced unless I went there, but everyone was so friendly. Um, and again, it, it was like this America that I've seen on TV, but I've never experienced before you know, um, and that's what I love. So North Carolina was incredible. The food was amazing as well. Amazing food. I did not expect that answer. When you said North <laughs> Carolina, all yeah. I could think of was P.D. Pablo in that song, like, come yeah. on, oh, raise up, take yeah, your yeah. shirt off. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop it. now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was it. And it was incredible just to meet people who 
were coming up to me like, oh my God, we love the show. I'm like, what? So you l- listen to the show? This is amazing. Because I just assumed it would be, you know, New York and LA and mm-hmm. San Francisco that people would listen to me. So it was crazy to be able to go to places like Atlanta, DC, uh, Boston, Miami, uh, Vegas even, you know, it was amazing. We're just in a new era that everything is interwoven because of the internet and social media to such a crazy degree right now. Like, yeah, you have listeners in the most random places. Oh, it's crazy. You know, just like I, I got recognized in um in New York uh, in, in the airport. And mm-hmm. to me, it was just so weird. Just like, what, you know who I am? <laughs> you know, like, this is crazy. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah. I, those answers are great. New York, North Carolina. Um, yeah, it sounds like you enjoyed the east, the east side of the U.S. Yeah, no, I I love San Francisco. Um, I just wish I was there for a bit longer because my friend he was staying somewhere, um, a little bit further out, so I didn't really get to, um, visit some of the places I wanted to. But also, my time was just so spent, you know, going to Vegas, and I think I went somewhere else as well. I can't remember what the other place was, but just going back and forth, I never got to spend time there. So my next tour which was supposed to be this year i actually wanted to start in la and then work my way back towards the east oh when you get to la it's gonna be a celebration you're not I gonna sleep i can't wait yeah, yeah I you better get ready wait. yeah i can't wait so, so everyone in la just hold tight i promise you i'm working on something amazing <laughs>